Student who was hit by a bullet yesterday afternoon in Bond Hill is now here at UC Medical Center in serious condition. Today, I talked to a woman who lives near that crime scene and who also lost a gr grandson to gun violence just a few days ago. The apartment building where Ann Spikes lives is next to Woodward High School. It's also near the spot where someone shot a student Thursday afternoon. The teenage victim managed to make it back to Woodward's campus to ask for help. And I just hope and pray that he makes it. For Spikes, what happened just off Glen Meadow Lane and Bond Hill hits way too close to home. My daughter called me and told me she was like, Moore just got shot. I was like, oh, no, 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 no. Her 16-year-old grandson, Lamar Spikes, was shot and killed in West Wood Saturday night. The Taft High School sophomore was described by a coach as a great teammate and by a teacher as a great kid. He was loved. I mean, he was so loved. It just took my baby away. Like, it wasn't nothing. Now she's trying to wrap her mind around another teenager being shot. She tells me it's almost too much to bear. It's just so much chaos. It's just so much. And I'm just hurt. I'm still hurt. When the injured teenager appeared on Woodward's campus yesterday, the school went on lockdown. Police searched the area and had canine out as well, but did not find the person who pulled the trigger. While investigations into both shooting cases continue, Spikes has this message for parents. People ought to watch their kids. See what's going on with your child. If you got to go in a room to be nosy, oh, well, I'd rather be nosy than have my child in jail or dead. And again, the student who was shot yesterday is here at UC Med, listed in serious condition. Uh, the Cincinnati Public Schools crisis response team was at Woodward High School today. Uh, they were there to help classmates who were trying to make sense of yet another senseless act of violence. Reporting live tonight, Todd Dykes, WLWT News 5.